Hi, I'm Paymon from the Technical Support Department here at Futech, and today I'll be going over some installation, usage tips, and troubleshooting steps for the Census Testing and Measurement software. Here is the packaging for the Census software. On top of the box, you can find your product number and the unique serial number provided. Within the box, you can also find your product number and the unique serial number that is provided. Now, in order to install the Census software, you'll be needing a few tech USC instrument, such as the USB 2.10 or an IHH 500. Next, you'll be needing the Census software, which can be found on the Sensei USB flash drive, or it can be downloaded on our website online. On the Sensei flash drive or in the downloaded Sensei software, an installation folder can be found. Within the installation folder, there is two setups, setup.exe and also setup.msi. Also note that the setup.exe is listed as an application. The difference between the two setup files are that the setup.msi will only install the census software. However, the setup.exe will install the census software, the .NET components, and also the drivers needed to operate the Futech USB instrument. So please select the setup.exe. Now the setup will start. Please select the install button. Click next. Next once again. And the I agree. And next. You can specify your folder path and also your users, then click next and press next to install the Sensit software. Once Sensit is installed, a shortcut icon will be placed onto your computer's desktop. Before starting the census software, please remember to first insert your FuTech USC instrument into your computer. Since Sensit only recognizes your FuTech USC instrument upon startup. Now that the FuTech USB device is installed, Sensit can be started by double clicking on the Sensit icon located on the computer desktop. When first starting Sensit, an option to insert the license key will be presented to unlock the full version of the Sensit software, or you can proceed to use the trial version by pressing the trial version button. The license key can be found on the box that contained the Sensit flash drive. The key in its entirety should be entered including the dashes between groups of characters and numbers, similar to the format seen here. The next screen will show the serial numbers of the Futech USB devices currently connected to the computer and available for use in the software. Here you can choose which devices should be used at this time with the Sensit software by choosing to enable or disable each listed serial number. After choosing which devices to have enabled, Sensit will continue and is ready to start taking readings from the sensor connected to the Futech USB mod or modules. When using the Sensit software, right-clicking in the display mode on one of the displayed rows will provide you with more information and additional options to choose from, such as configuring the sampling rate. The Sensit software also offers a live graphing mode. The live graphing mode can be used to see a real-time graph of the current readings from the sensor connected to the USB module. Also remember that to achieve the maximum sampling rate of your Futech USB instrument, use the data logging mode. The settings under live graph setup contain a test interval and a test duration. 
The test interval is how often the USB module reads from the sensor, while the test duration is how long the actual test is taking place. The sensor software offers a data logging mode. The data logging mode can be used to gather readings from the sensor attached to the Futec USB module over time and present the results at the end of the test. Since the results are presented at the end of the test, data logging can use more computer resources to read from the Futec USB device. As a result, data logging mode can be used to archive up to the full sampling rate of your Futec USB device. Also note that the sampling rate used by the data logging mode is the sampling rate you configure in your main display screen by clicking on any of the rows and configuring the sampling rate here. The Sensit software has a help tab where you can find additional information, the software manual, and more about the Sensit software itself. A common reason for error in starting the Sensus software is if the driver for the Futec USB device is not installed or installed incorrectly. One quick solution is to plug in the Futec USB device into the computer as Windows should recognize the new hardware and install the driver automatically. You can also go into the device manager and confirm the driver for the Futec USB device. In the device manager in Windows, the USB device should be listed as a USB serial converter. If the driver shows up as something other than the USB serial converter or has a yellow exclamation point, you can click on the driver and choose to uninstall it. To reinstall the driver, you can then go into the installation folder for Sensit and find the driver setup program under the included FTDI folder. The driver installation program should be run with the Futec USB module removed from the computer for best results. Next, you would plug in your Futec USB device and confirm in the device manager that Windows found the correct driver, which is the USB serial converter. Also, some Futec USB instruments, such as the IPM650 and IHH500, should be turned on and plugged into the computer before clicking on the sensor icon. Also, you can find the latest version of the Census software on our website online at www.futech.com under Solutions, then Census software under Download, and Download 14 Day Trial Now. Remember that the online version of the Sensit software is exactly the same as the full version that comes with the flash drive with all areas remaining unlocked past the 14 day trial when the serial key is entered. On the Sensit download page you can also find the release notes for each version of the Sensit software. This document has listed any changes that were made which may affect your current computer configuration. For additional tips, please proceed onto our website at www.futech.com. Here you can find many guides and manuals which can further assist you with your applications.